Good afternoon and welcome. This is Harry coming to you from the Rogers Review. We are here on the uh, Memorial Day concert here at the Capitol and I'm with Gary Sinise and Mr. Joe Mategna. How are you guys doing today? Very good. Excellent. Okay. Just, just great. Thank you. Okay. And I get to see you all every year and usually I'm behind the camera. Today I'm in front of the camera so I wanted to get a few words from you all about the significance of being here today. Well, for me, as I've often said, it's the most important thing I do every year. I did the first one in 2002, and I've been back ever since. And it's just it's just an affirmation in my mind that Memorial Day is the most important holiday we celebrate in this country, which allows us to celebrate all the other holidays we have. So I'm just, once again, privileged, honored, and grateful to be here. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's become a, an amazing tradition to be here each year. And the first year I did it, uh, Joe asked me to come in 2005. I brought my band, I was up on stage, I'm looking at hundreds of thousands of people out here. And it was magnificent and also very moving because, you know, the stories that we tell are very, very important, very meaningful, very impactful. So it's a, it's a great way to spend Memorial Day for sure. And speaking of concerts, I heard you were here a little earlier this week. You had a uh, concert over at uh, Fort Belvoir. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, that that was uh, um, one of my foundation events called, uh, we call them our Invincible Spirit Festivals. And we do them at military hospitals all around the country. I'll, I'll come in with a stage and everything and my band and we play and we have food, free food for everybody and moon bounces and rock climbing walls, all that kind of thing for the kids. And we had a tremendous turnout out there. Everybody had a great time. It's, a, it's about our 10th time out at Fort Belvoir doing this. So they, they look forward to it every year, and so do we. That sounds really, really awesome. And you, sir, on June the 6th, you have something big coming up. Tell our audience about what you have coming. Well, it'll be our second year on Paramount Plus and our 17th year of doing Criminal Minds. So that will we'll be premiering on Paramount Plus on June 6th. Um, so just glad to be you know, have, have had the same job for over 15 years now. So, uh, but, uh, so I'm looking forward deal. to that, yeah. yeah. And last but not, well, next to last but not least, um, Mr. Sinise, this year is the 30th anniversary of Forrest Gump and just wanted to get a couple of thoughts about the significance of the anniversary. Yeah, well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you reminded me about that. Uh, yeah, 30 years ago, it, it opened July 6th, 1994. Mm -hmm. Uh, so 30 years ago, uh, the movie, you know, obviously uh, was a big part, uh, played a big role in my life, not only with the career, but the fact that Lieutenant Dan was a, you know, double amputee, Vietnam, Vietnam veteran. That led me to all kinds of different things, uh, working with our wounded and, and whatnot. And, I, you know, it's wonderful to be in a movie that was embraced by so many people and still kind of lives on all these years later. Excellent, excellent. So the last thing, we're celebrating our 15th anniversary. I just wanted to see if you guys can give us a shout out for the Rogers Review. Hey, 15 years of Rogers Review. Nothing wrong with that. Continue. Here's to the next 15. That's really awesome. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you for the words. This is Harry from the Rogers Review, and we're out.